Comic-Con is here in Niagara Falls at the Scotiabank Convention Center, and the source is here to check out some of the great characters that makes this weekend so special. Right, Scooby? Oh, absolutely. We love Comic-Con. Whoa. <laughs> All right, this is the mystery machine. Everyone loves Scooby-Doo. And the reason that we did it is when I was younger, I lost my dad to cancer, and we always found a really cool way to give back was going back and working with the Make-A-Wish and the American Cancer Society with the kids. So I built the Scooby-Doo van. You know, it's amazing about these type of events. The kids love this, even the adults, because you got to remember, Scooby-Doo is very multi-generational. It's been around for quite a long time, and I believe they just did a crossover with the show uh, Supernatural. So again, they're keeping it current, and it's really a fun thing, but yeah, to see the kids' faces light up and actually almost feel like, I guess, that cartoon character came to life. All right, well, here's the funny part. I'm from the States, and I'm a big eBay guy, so I'm always looking to see what kind of deals are out there. And this was listed in the e eBay from Canada. So it was a Canadian van, a 1964 GMC, and it was primer gray, and someone was just trying to sell it. Well, I always have this crazy vision. I'm an artist by trade, so I looked at it, I said, that would be really cool, and I started looking at the cartoons. I said, wow, this must have been exactly what they designed it off of. And before some of the artists who actually worked on Scooby-Doo passed away, I had actually talked and interviewed them, and they said this is exactly the van they used for designing the cartoon version of the Scooby-Doo van. So I'm like, you know what, I'm doing this. And uh, the inside is carpeted, it's got all the characters in there. So it's very kid-friendly, too. You know, it's funny. When we come to the border, everyone always complains about that. They say, oh, you get held up, and they talk to you. And they say, I said, I get it. They're doing their job, which I get. It's security for everybody. But the reality is, when they see this coming, I think they forget who's driving. They look at the credentials, and they go, can we get a picture of the van? I'm like, of course you can. It just eases the pain. I think a lot of people, retro is very big right now. And I think that people like to relive their past and their childhood and remember good times. And this really does represent a lot of good times for people. So I always say I have one of the best jobs in the world. Well, people can come to me and you approach me with a smile instead of a frown or a face of maybe anger or pain, this kind of says, wow, remember when I was or remember who was there or our grandkids love this and we watched it. So again, you know, I, I always tell myself, I'm very, very blessed to have the cars that I have and be able to meet all the great people and even meet you guys. You know, it's just really, really a great thing. While walking around, we're seeing some fantastic characters, some good guys, yet some bad guys. Let's go talk to them and check it out. I'm Dr. Steve. I'm here to make um, Niagara Falls Comic Con great again. Mm -hmm. okay. Take over the con, you know, make things really exciting. Yeah, and is this your first Comic Con? No, I've been here a lot. I come here to most cons to try and recruit uh, help. But a lot of these people, instead of being evil like Darth Vader, they turn out to be something called cosplayers. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it's like they, they, they talk to talk, but they can't walk to walk. Yeah. None of them are truly evil. Three movies, and none of them called Dr. Evil. I mean, the third movie had that, like, um, hack, a gold member. He only shows up once, and he's got his own title. Really? Really? Really, Mike? Not cool, OK? So Dr. Evil, when you get asked for a photo, how much do you ask for? I ask for one million dollars. <laughs> away from me. As if. Good afternoon, and thank you for visiting me. I appreciate it. Welcome to Niagara Falls Comic Con. This is the 1989 Batmobile used in the Tim Burton film, Batman. This is a functioning Batmobile. This is how I got here. Fighting crime is a very real reality. However, when I'm here at the Niagara Falls Comic Con, it's about putting smiles on faces. The, the law enforcement has pulled me over, and of course, they pulled me over because they've heard all about me. So they want a photograph, and I'm happy to oblige. There's way too much going on at Comic-Con, so stay tuned later on this week for my next report. In Niagara Falls, reporting for The Source, I'm Asia Tamori.